Hey, what's going on guys? Yamshin yeah, here, and today we're going to look at the new Android 4.4.2 KitKat update for the Moto G. Now, this update was released on January 15th, 2014 for the carrier version of the phone. Now, I know the international version had a version released the last month, I believe, and the international version of KitKat is slightly different for the Moto G. Now, right off the bat, you can see the top and bottom icons have now have the black uh, lines behind them removed. Now it's uh, transparent and it fades into black right at the top and at the bottom. And you can see the icons here are also all white now. Before we had a bit of gray and blue mixed in, now they're all white. Um, also the settings icon has been changed and we can just go ahead and confirm that we do have Android 4.4.2. And there's the K with the KitKat. Nothing special with here, unlike Jelly Bean, where you can mess around with the, with the Jelly Beans. Here's just the logo. And also they changed the phone application again. So here we have a completely white background with some gray, and there's a new keypad. It seems like they do a keypad change almost every major update, so I guess we can look forward to another change on the next update. Um, They've also added uh, SMS text messaging to Google Hangouts, Hangouts sorry, and um, I don't really use Hangouts, so I can't really show you exactly what it is, but I know that's a key feature they've added in 4.4.2 KitKat. Also uh, in 4.4.4.2 KitKat, uh, they're implementing Google Photos. You've probably already seen it. You, you probably might also have it on your device already that doesn't have KitKat, but I know in the future they're gonna try to implement the uh, that application more and more because Google wants you to be more uh, connected to them. Anyways, I ran a benchmark test here and we can see the stats are very similar to the S3 and the Nexus 4. Now for the price, this phone is still only $150 and the stats are very, very comparable to the Nexus 4 and the S3. In fact, it beats the Nexus 4. And that's why I think this phone is still one of the best on the market for the price. Anyways, guys, that is all for today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.